is physically modeled after your brain. Part 1 In the early days of artificial intelligence research, scientists faced a problem. They had been working on creating machines that could think and learn like humans, but they quickly realized that traditional computers with their digital logic gates and binary systems were not well suited for the task. They were powerful, but inflexible and unable to adapt to new situations. It was then that the scientists began to look towards the human brain for inspiration. They were fascinated by its ability to process vast amounts of information and adapt to new situations, and they began to study its inner workings. They found that the brain was made up of billions of interconnected cells called neurons that communicated with one another in a highly dynamic and adaptive way. How the brain processes information The brain processes information through a complex network of neurons cells that are able to transmit electrical and chemical signals. The first stage of information processing is called sensation. It involves the conversion of external stimuli such as light, sound and touch to electrical impulses by sensory neurons. The electrical impulses are then transmitted to the primary processing areas of the brain such as the primary visual cortex which processes visual information and the primary auditory cortex which processes auditory information. The next stage is perception and involves organizing and making sense of the impulses received from sensory neurons. The brain does this by using a variety of strategies. These strategies include the grouping of similar stimuli and the dismissal of irrelevant information. Finally, cognition, the process of thinking, reasoning and problem solving, and then action, follow perception. The brain uses the information it has received and processed to make decisions plan actions and form memories, or to initiate a response or behavior. While this process might seem sequential, different regions of the brain work together to process incoming information, and the brain's processing mechanism can be thought of as a type of parallel computing. Computer scientists have traditionally used neural networks to try and mimic this process. These are algorithms that use interconnected nodes to process information in a similar way to the way that the brain does. So now that you have a solid understanding of how our brain works and processes information. Let's move on to neuromorphic computing. What is neuromorphic computing? While the human brain still remains an enigma, the idea of neuromorphic computing was born out of what we do understand about how the brain works. Unlike traditional computers, which use the von Neumann architecture, neuromorphic computers use a parallel distributed architecture that is more similar to the human brain. They use new hardware and software it's been especially developed to allow them to process information in a more biologically realistic way. This allows neuromorphic computers to perform certain tasks more efficiently including the processing and analysis of large amounts of data in real time, making them well suited for tasks such as image and speech recognition. The most common form of neuromorphic hardware is the spiking neural network or SNN. In this type of hardware, nodes or spiking neurons process and hold data and communicate with each other, like biological neurons rather than using digital logic gates. This is different from traditional computing hardware, which relies on transistors that can only be in one of two states, on or off. Neuromorphic computers can also leverage new types of memory that can store information in a more flexible way. One of the main advantages of neuromorphic computing is energy efficiency. Traditional computers consume a lot of energy because they have to constantly switch transistors on and off. Neuromorphic computers can perform certain tasks using significantly less energy because they operate more like the human brain, an organ capable of performing 100 trillion calculations per second using only 12 watts of power. This is less than the power used by most modern light bulbs. While some of the world's fastest supercomputers can now match the brain for processing speed, they require upwards of 10,000 square feet of space and can use well over 15 megawatts of power, roughly the amount of energy needed by 13,500 US households. Neuromorphic computers, on the other hand, are 16 times more energy efficient for large deep learning networks than other AI hardware. Neuromorphic computing also has the advantage of being able to handle uncertainty and noise. Traditional computers are not well suited for tasks that involve a lot of uncertainty because they rely on precise computations. Neuromorphic computers can handle uncertainty and noise because they are modeled after the brain, which is able to process information even in the presence of these factors. Today, neuromorphic computing is a rapidly growing field. 
with the potential to revolutionize a wide range of industries and applications. Researchers have made significant strides in creating powerful neuromorphic chips and developing software that can run on them, and neuromorphic computing is being used to create intelligent machines that can process information more efficiently and adapt to new situations in a way that traditional computers simply cannot. It is opening up new possibilities in AI and bringing us closer than ever before to emulating the brain's remarkable abilities. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are made aware every single time a new video pops up on our channel. Until next time, bye bye.